All right, thank you for joining us. Happy Please grab a seat and we will get started. Welcome, welcome. What happened today? Last week we had 70 people and today people are on vacation again. We celebrated the kids being back at school and now we are out selling real estate. I like it. Awesome. Thank you again for joining us. How is everyone? Okay, let's start this again. The energy is a little bit funky. Can we do this one more time? Yeah. All right, awesome. Happy Wednesday, KW Southwest. All right, that's my group, like it. All right, we're gonna dive into my favorite bucket bills, divorce, marriage, new car, babies, new listing, dog, anything that you would like to share or anybody that you are grateful for. So I got my daughter off to college without totally losing my mind. All right. Gloria. I got my Doberman puppy on Sunday. Zeus. He is amazing. New love of my life. Aww. All right. Anybody else or anybody online? Hey, this is Chris Clements. Uh, got my daughter off to her first year at SMU, and I am feeling all the feels about that right now. All right. Thank you for sharing. Hello, everyone. I joined Keller Williams Southwest this week. So, yeah. <laughs> Introduce yourself if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Uh, my name is Aisha Samani. And um, hi, hi, Aisha. Thank you. Uh, I thank you for having me here and I'm excited um, to start my new journey with y'all. Awesome. We are grateful to have you. <laughs> I you. rejoined Keller Williams from Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. It's a new city for me. Grew up in Dallas for about 28 years. I've been in real estate for about almost two decades, but you know, I'm being back to Houston now. So I don't know how it's going to be for me. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I'm Shireen Saleem. <laughs> Awesome. awesome. Perfect. Anybody else? All right. Well, we have actually something very special and she is not here yet. So I have a challenge for you. Okay. Can I have everybody's attention for a minute? Barbara, who is an instrumental piece to our organization, has been with us for 10 years, entire decade. So what I would love to do as she walks into the room Please give her a huge round of applause, and we are going to have Chad walking in, okay? And here she comes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Woo, Barbara. Barbara, 10 years, 10 years. So anybody here 10 years ago? Bar Barbara was... The greatest uh, front receptionist ever, right? A little feisty, too, a little feisty. But I, I would say to Andy, Barbara, she has been a loyal, right, consistent. She is the mother of this office, if we could say that. She cares about all of you greatly, and uh, she has been, to me, a big instrument in my life as well, so... Just want to give it up to Barbara. Love you. Oh, my gosh, you got me. Oh, my gosh, I have to talk. I love you guys all. Please know I'm here for you guys. That's what makes my joy is having you guys in here. <laughs> Please don't don't let us use the crystal ball to try to find out when you guys have issues. Let us know. We're here for you. <laughs> Love you, Barbara. Let's give her an extra round of applause for Barbara and her awesomeness. my favorite part the bucket fills feels good right 
That's what KW Southwest is all about. Love it. All right. Diving into our partners. If you're our business partner, I would like to welcome you up and uh, tell us a little bit more about your business and uh, what you do for our office. Let's give them a round of applause. Where are the rest of the folks? You know, it's usually not just me. Yes, come over here. Come over yeah. here. Show everybody your cool decor. I like it. <laughs> It, it usually goes in my pocket, but you know, I will let it slide. Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm Matias with Home USA Mortgage, and I'm not going to take a ton of your time, but I do want to touch on one thing, one thing that I'm sure you've heard and I'm hearing a ton of, which is what's going to happen with interest rates, right? Should I wait? Should I not wait? What's going on? And everybody's talking about the election and all this other stuff that's happening, you know, in the in the next few months, right? So I want to share something that. The time to act is now, right? So I think building a sense of urgency for myself and more importantly for your clients, you know, uh, it's important for to 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 make them understand that it's it's it rates rates may drop. We don't know what's going to happen. They they've showed they've showed there's a, there's a statistic that dropped yesterday that odds are the rates are going to drop, right? We don't know how much. If we knew that, we we'd all be rich, right? Um, the other thing I want to touch on is naturally after election year, we have seen a price of increase. We have seen increase in prices of homes, right? That's that's the statistics since like 2000, 2000, I don't know, 2008. I've seen just increase of about ten to $15,000 after election year. So that is something to talk about. It's good to know these key points to talk about your clients because the time to act is now. You know what I mean? If we see a rate drop, great. Let's refinance you in the future. But the time to put in offers and get things um, get things accomplished is today. Let's not wait. And 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 you know you, we know what's going to happen. If rates drop, the the market's going to flood, and all the prices all the prices are going to increase. And naturally, after election, they're gonna, the election they're going to increase anyway. So I just wanted to share that. Um, I do have a little bit more details out if you want to meet me and we can chat about it. But um, I think it's good for, for everybody to know. And as always, we're always here to help. And if you need help in Spanish, I'm, I'm a Spanish speaker as well. I appreciate your time. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Do we have Dale or anybody from a uh, new American funding? Uh, Dale's busy putting All right. Fantastic. Well, come Hi. on up. Hi guys. I've missed you so much. Hello. <laughs> So I really have missed you and I'm happy to be here today. Aldridge is, Aldridge is on vacation. So I thought I'd show up and give you guys some love. Please um, reach out to me too. It's hard to keep up with 300, 400. Hi, Stephanie. It's hard to keep up with 400 realtors, 500 realtors. But if you guys need anything, please, please, please reach out. I shared recently this week um, the NAR changes and I broke them down to basically what each of them mean. So if you didn't receive that email, let me know. Um, for the title company, we're looking at a couple different forms in order to be paid and make sure things... <laughs> Look, we're matching. I felt your energy. <laughs> um, so it breaks down each um, form that the title company is going to need. Oh, by the way, for the new people, I am with Patent Title. I'm at the River Oaks office, but I'm also downstairs. Um so let me know if you don't get that and I'll share it with you. It really helps and it's a good breakdown of like what to expect going forward. Um, I have a fun fact. I haven't shared that in a long time, but um, I was going through, I just moved in December and I have um, a bunch of stuff I'm going through and I found a Sports Illustrated. I'm in Sports Illustrated with Andre Agassi on the cover. When my husband um, joined the Astros in 1997, they did a, a huge article spread on him and my picture is right here so i am in sports illustrated with andre agassi <laughs> so i i saw that and i was like oh i thought i'd share that so i miss you guys i love you guys and if you need anything please reach out to me okay thank, thank you, you. All right, Dale, take it away. Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm Dale Branch with New American Funding. Want to talk about the same thing we've been talking about, affordability. Your buyers are wanting to know, what is it going to cost me to buy this house? You're not going to know that unless you put some effort into determining what payments are going to be based on current interest rates, insurance, which is sky high. If any of you have had any quotes on your homeowner's insurance, you've seen that go up. Taxes, interest rates are going to be the only variable that we're going to see right now. 
Fortunately, I think as Matias said, we're starting to see rates come down, which is a great reason for you to have to call someone. Get back in touch with all your database, your people that have been out there sitting on the fence. Because rates are coming down, we don't know where they're going to go, but it's a great time to at least have the conversation. Affordability for the buyers that you have is going to become better as mortgage rates come down, but also their other debts, credit card debts, anything tied to the prime lending rate, we're going to see that those payments start to come down. It's going to free up some of the money that they're paying in interest on credit cards, on potentially car loans. They'll have more money to be able to apply to a home loan. Get in touch with your loan officer, whoever you use. Make certain that you're before you're out there giving people misinformation that you've got some good hard numbers. We're here to help. Please help us. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Dale. All right. Anybody else? No. Moving on. All right. This is Verna Sporte. Come on. Super quickly. Classes and events coming up. Three, two, one, go. All right. We do have several classes coming up. Please be aware before the classes. I know everybody wants their money. We're having a commission blackout period, though. That's happening from September 1st through September 10th. So if you have a closing or leases or different things that's coming up, you want to make sure that you get that in by September 30th, the sooner the better, so that your CDA can be created. I'm sorry. I'm so, oh, God. Oh, oh. See, they're paying attention. Like it. All right. Just making sure. Um, August 30th, so that you can get paid on time. Um, September 10th, never ending referral starting on September 10th, and it'll go for six weeks. And um, Namesh, I'm sure, has more to talk about that. Um, so your very own Namesh will be having that. Value is coming up. This is something a little different. It's happening from September 9th, 19th on. It is a five-week program. Oh, never mind. Okay. And no mention we'll talk about that. October 19th, we have Shredding Hunger. This is an opportunity. It's a white labeled event for you to go out and share um, within your sphere of influence or your neighborhoods or your farming area. You can um, participate by um, having people come in, they're shredding hunger, bring in non-perishable items in lieu of shredding their sensitive documents. So that's happening. Trunk or Treat is also happening on October 26th. We are currently taking people with cars. Trunk or Treat is your opportunity to um, give back to the neighborhood with candy and fun games and different things of that sort. It happens right here in our parking lot. Last year, we had over 2,000 people come through. So it's a great opportunity for you to spread your... Love. Absolutely. Hold on, hang on. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Hello. It's Sharon Parker. How's everyone doing? Hey, what I really like to say, I really need you guys' help with Trunk or Treat. Trunk or Treat is an event that we do for the community, and we have from between 1,500 to 2,000 kids that come out to this event every year and it's getting larger and larger. And we have churches and other communities, um, member, they're, they're, they're out there doing the same thing, but something about our event, everyone loves. So we really need your help. I need everyone to sign up and have a trunk. It's easy to do, I do it every year. And if you just wanna know how to do it and you want someone to help you, I'll be glad to help you. I'll go out there, I'll throw stuff on your trunk and make it happen, okay? But we need to all come out and just support us and just really be out there because because we run out of candy. We really need candy. So we 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 run out of it every year. So that what that tells us that we're getting bigger and bigger every year. So if I can get at least 10, 15 of you guys, how about let's let's pull our phone out and let's just do this QR code right now. Raise and, your and, hand come if on, you are going to have a trunk. Please raise uh -huh. your hand if you plan on having and I, a trunk. Okay, can I get you to sign up right now? Uh-uh, right now. I, I'm not leaving here till y'all get this up here. Come on. Okay, let's get it. Come on. And if you don't, if you, if you, the biggest thing is, is to put your business out there to let everybody know that you're in business. And if you're not your biggest cheerleader, then I don't need to be cheering for you. So the biggest thing is go out there, put your cards out. The parents bring all their kids. The kids can't come by themselves. 
Who's going to drop their three-year-old? Don't say that. Don't even say, I don't know. They may, but right now, no one's dropping off their three-year-old to an event to stand in line. Because if you come by here and you don't do a trunk, just come by here when it starts. The line is out to Highway 6. That's how many people mm -hmm. come to this event. So I want everybody to understand this is a great opportunity for you to get your business out there. All you new agents need to be out there. I don't care if you got a pumpkin that you carved with three heads. I don't care. Just be out there and pass out your cards and talk to the people. We can't all win them over, 1,500, 2,000 people. I'm going to be out there getting them, but I'm just saying, I want to share a little. <laughs> I'll share a little with you. So come on. I need everybody to sign up. We're at 23 right now. I need at least 60 cars. 100 cars. <laughs> what a, yes, ma'am. 2,000 people coming. We need 100. And that's fine, too. Yes, but I really want the trunks. Because the candy, yes, we can get the, if you don't bring the, she's saying if if, you, if they don't do a trunk, will you bring the candy? Yes, bring candy if you're not going to do the trunk. But I really want your trunk there because it the kids get so excited when they see it. I'm not about Halloween, but I get excited just watching the kids. And I bring my 84-year-old mom and she just dances with them. So you can come by and watch her dance. Okay, so I look forward to everyone. QR code. Let's sign you up. Okay. Awesome. Yes, ma'am. At least six bags. Six bag, big bags will keep you all night long. All night long. All night. All right. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sharon. Is it my turn? All right. Here we go. One. Who's got the one back? All right, so never ending referrals. I gave the teaser last week. It is all set and ready to go. Guys, there's not that much time to register, so let's go ahead and do it. So what is never ending? Well, first of all, never ending referrals is starting on September 10th, Tuesday, September 10th, okay? So we have about roughly two weeks. Two weeks as of yesterday is when we're gonna begin. It's a six session, six week program. It's once a week, every Tuesday from nine to 12.30. It is developed by MAPS. It is a MAPS program, and it's to help you build and work through your database, okay? So it's to, it, it's how to dive deep into your database and build that those relationships to help you grow your business. Now, it's in a learning lab style format, which means we learn based on virtual video, and then I will facilitate the lab portion of it, how to implement it into your business. It's only two and a half hours long per session, once a week, and you're going to spend the rest of the week implementing it. Okay. I highly, highly recommended when I did this last time, we had about 93 register for this thing. It's pretty powerful. All right. So the dates are up there. It's every Tuesday. We're not skipping a week whatsoever. Normally guys, MAPS charges about $1,200 for this program. We are offering it to you at zero cost. Okay. Zero cost. Do not pass up this opportunity. Hmm. I should charge something. Great. Now I'm charging. I'm charging for your presence to be there. Okay. So the QR code is there, register. It'll show up on the Facebook groups and your emails, okay? Don't break the TV, the mom. I want a new one. Uh -huh. Guys, you guys can also get a blast. Six weeks, right? So do we have to do every week or? I would. So we're gonna do when you start getting, when you start getting the info, you'll kind of see the breakdowns of it, right? Session one is about building your foundation. Session two is about understanding behaviors and how, and then also social media, all right? Session three is business to business conversations, meaning how to engage with other small businesses to help mutually grow, okay? So winning the position battle, right? So far, and then there's also farming in here, client event and parties. So essentially it's covering all bases on relationship-based businesses. All right. So if you miss a week, you're, you're missing that session. I'm not saying don't come if you think you're going to miss a week because you'll at least get something out of the other five weeks. Right. I encourage you to be at all the sessions, though. There's only one registration. OK, there'll be more information coming out, but I highly encourage you to register. And then followed by value, our version of value squared. OK, there's a lot of changes happening in the industry. And as we know, the market is also getting a little tighter, which means what we're going from a speed-based business to a skill-based business. We've been in this skill-based business for a little bit. So how can you articulate your value and separate yourselves from the others? 
Well, that's where value square comes, especially now where we have some changes on where we got to get certain documentation signed and we got to over disclose, disclose and disclose, right? So how can we articulate our value? That's where, what we're going to talk about. Um, I'm joined with the one and only Sarah Detmore, where we're going to go over uh, one again about total providing the value also from a seller perspective, having those seller conversations is what I will handle. And then Sarah will come in and talk about how are we going to handle buyer conversations? It's one day in the training room, um, 9.30 to 2.30. We will provide lunch because of the time frame on September 19th. It's Thursday, September 19th. A registration has not been set up yet, but it will get blasted today. Okay, so you'll see a Facebook groups, emails, and texts. Awesome. Good deal. Thank you. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right. On our website... KWSW25, there's a new tab that if you have a listing, you can go ahead and add a buyer compensation. Uh, then you can go ahead and provide that information to every single agent that's inquiring about your listing and asking you, Are you is your client offering any commission? What is, what is the commission? So this is where you can go ahead and input it. It's a simple Google form and it will be updated immediately. All right, perfect. Now we are going to dive into our agenda. You have, you guys have received an email regarding discussing different leads. However, I came across something super valuable. And so I decided to pivot. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you uh, these sheets. They might not be enough for everyone. However, please share, make copies. As I truly believe this is something super important. See, Nimesh started... Uh, with the topic that we are not in a speed-based market, skill-based market. And uh, raise your hand if you know Diana Kokoska. Okay, few of you. Diana Kokoska is one of a few leaders that I respect at extremely high level. She uh, is a lady that sold over 100 homes in her first year in real estate while dragging her kids behind her in a wagon door knocking a neighborhood. She's uh, somebody that uh, believes that anything is possible and it doesn't matter the circumstances as long as you have the skill set and the will to do it. She's the one that originally wrote Bolt that helped hundreds and hundreds of agents to take their business to the next level. And she's also the one that sent me this email. And uh, what I have noticed as uh, we have the opportunity to talk to our team leaders across the country and agents is we as an organization have done a great job in coaching you, teaching you what forms to use to keep you out of trouble. However, there's certainly an opportunity to provide you with a better skill set. And that's why I have decided to pivot. See, it doesn't matter if you have been in a business for 20 years or 20 days. We are all equal now. And here is why. We get to learn a new skill. In 2020 and 2021, did you know that 90% of real estate agents did not even use a buyer's consultation? For two reasons. 50% of them said, well, I've been in a business for 30 plus years. Everybody knows who I am. I don't need one. I just show up. And then the remaining 50% are the agents that did not have the opportunity to do so because they had to act quickly in summoning the offer and just simply explaining the scenario and the entire process on the go. See, my friends, the market has changed. And that's why it's important to reset, to reset your skill set and to reset your buyer's consultation. And that's why I'm going to be sharing with you the following slides. And I would encourage you to please pay attention because it is a new material. Now, you can choose to say exactly what it says. You can choose to customize it. You can choose to internalize it. You can choose to use it, or you might not. Completely up to you. And yet, my job is to make sure that you guys are provided with a value, and I highly believe this is very valuable. So, as you are in your buyer's consultation and you ask your client the standard questions of what they are looking for, timeline, the regular spiel that you would normally do, you're going to go ahead and insert the following. All right, Mr. Buyer, thank you so much for clarity around my questions. Now, Sharon, I also want you, I want to thank you for choosing to work with me in your real estate journey. May I ask you a question? 
Yes, Yana, you might have. Are you familiar with some of the recent changes in the way real estate transactions work and how it might affect your experience as a buyer? It doesn't matter what they say. 50% will say, well, I saw something on a CNN and 50% will say, I have no idea. Doesn't matter. See, because I like all my clients to understand their real estate transaction and all that is happening, I think it is important for me to discuss briefly some changes that are taking place. But I gotta keep up. Okay, you got me? Okay, thank you. Let me ask you, has there ever been a time when you wanted more information, more help, or better service? And Sharon says, well, real estate is a business where many people feel the lack of service due to not having representation. By representation, I'm not talking about just writing the contract for a home you desire to buy. I'm talking about having one person who places you in the top position on the transaction, always looking out for you. Does that make sense? Traditionally, the seller is represented by the agent they hire, and you are represented by the agent, like me, that you hire. In a sense, there might be two agents involved in any real estate transaction, one that represents the seller and one representing the buyer. See, it is important, Sharon, that each party is represented, especially during the negotiation process, writing the contract, inspections, contract follow-through and closing. What part of the process do you feel you will need the most representation, Sharon? And now she might answer. You might have to repeat again the following things because your average buyer in their mind by this point are overwhelmed. Oh my gosh, there is more than writing an offer. I was thinking about just having the listing agent do it or doing it on my own. There are now four ways a real estate transaction in my work to pay the agents involved. Before I explain them all to you, let me ask you, when you go to work, do you expect to be paid, Sharon? What if they said, come to work and work for one month, maybe up to four months, and you might or you might not get paid? What would you say? Wherever the answer doesn't matter. Okay? See, Sharon, you are just like me. In real estate, we'll call people A buyers, and we also call them B buyers. An A buyer is the one, you know, that when you work with them, you get paid. A B buyer is one that says, come to work and work for one month, maybe up to four months, and you might get paid or you might not. Only you already said you wouldn't like that, right? Yes. What if a great home comes on the market and it is a steal? Would you call the A buyer who is giving you their royalty or the B buyer that you might or you might not get paid for helping? A, well... A buyer is the one that decides to hire me to represent them. A B buyer is the one that runs around and calls every agent in town, hoping they will get service. Which one are you interested in, Sharon? A, so you know about all the properties, or B, where you're on your own. Now, they might answer in many different ways, right? Some of the objections that you might receive, well, well, it depends how much is it going to cost me. Uh, well, I can just go directly to um, the agent. My cousin is a real estate agent. Doesn't matter. But before you answer the objection, okay, you respond in a way. Before I answer, let me explain. There are four ways a real estate agent can represent the buyer, always placing you first in the transaction. Let me go through those with you. And now what I would like to challenge you is the next four ways that are on the screen. Norman? Oh, they're all separate. Okay. I would love for you in the, in the printout, you see it as a little graph. I would love for you to have it as a part of your buyer's consultation to be able to explain it. Okay. So it starts with number one. You look at a home, like it, negotiate and agree on a price then buy it. And the seller pays the agent that represents them. And the seller pays me, the agent that represents you. Our second option is you look at a home, like it, make an offer, asking the seller to pay the agent that represents them, and ask, asking the seller to pay me as the dedicated agent that represents you. Three, you look at a home, like it, 
and offer more than the asking price, covering the cost the seller incurs because we ask the seller to pay the agent that represents them, as well as the seller is paying me to represent you. Or you look at a home, like it, negotiate and agree on a price, buy it, and the seller pays the agent that represents them, and you pay me as the agent that represents you. Based on all these choices, I know everyone tells me they want the seller to pay for both agents, and I agree. I would like that as well. I think it is important for you to know, however, any of the four could happen. The way we will know what the seller is willing to do is how they advertise their home in our MLS, which stands for our multiple listing service. So I assume you are just like me and want the seller to pay, correct? Exactly, Sharon. Based on that fact, I will tell you about all the homes in the area that meet your needs. I will also tell you if the seller is advertising that they will pay me as your agent. If they advertise they are not willing to pay me, then you can determine if it is a home you desire to look at, knowing that one of the four ways we spoke about might come about. Now, I understand that change is something no one likes, Sharon, and yet one thing we all like is the important advantages you receive by having a dedicated representative like me that will exclusively represent your interest throughout the buying process. In fact, most people, clap, 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 choose me, clap, 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 because of my negotiating skills and the way I guide you through the complexities of the transaction. After all, what you want is value in your home buying experience, correct, Sharon? And now they will provide you with a different objections and the following pages will also teach you how to handle the objections. Again, you can exactly say that, you can tweak it, you can internalize it, or maybe you already have a better way. So if they want to use the listing agent, here are one of the ways that you can respond. Well, Sharon, you could do that. And may I share with you what frightens me about that? Who is going to watch out for the conflict of interest? When the seller hired their agent, they hired them to represent them, not you. The listing agent by law has a fiduciary, oh my gosh, fiduciary responsibility to represent the seller only, and they are not going to break the law to help you, which means they will always be negotiating against you while giving you the perception of being interested in you and your needs. There is a top coach in real estate, Diana Kokoska, who I purchased the list of 433 potential things that will take place in a real estate transaction. You don't have to purchase it. And this is why people hire me to represent them. Even though we might not need to complete everything on this list due to our state laws, the list show there are a lot of moving parts in real estate transaction. Making the decision to hire me as your agent ensures that I will be solely focused on your needs and objectives, taking a stand for you and only you throughout the entire transaction. The way you guys would replace it is by providing them a list of all the things that you are going to do as a buyer's agent, meaning you're not the average agent. You're also running the comps. You are the one that's going to connect them to three different uh, inspectors. You are the one that's going to give them a quote for the roofer. You are the one that's going to provide them with three home warranties. You are the one that's going to explain the amendments. You are the one that's going to take the time to help them understand the title commitment. You are also the one that's going to provide them with a list for different vendors whenever it comes to utilities. You're also the one that knows all the movers. You are the one that will introduce them to the neighbors. You are also the one that will ensure that everything is set to close and understand the final close disclosure so they don't have any questions about the prorations, yes? Do you understand your value and is it written somewhere so they can see it? Or is it just in your head? See, my friends, that's what's changing. You got to be able to communicate your value. Next one. Doesn't the seller always pay the agents? Way that you can go ahead and answer that. Next one. I will just go unrepresented. I would like to go ahead and continue on that one. Okay, Sharon, that is something you can do, yet I don't highly recommend it. After all, that would be like buying something that has hundreds of parts and working to put it together without a directions, like Legos. Let's say we find a home where the seller is not willing to pay for you to be represented. What will your choice be? Will you move forward without representation taking a chance of lawsuit and the seller and their agent taking advantage of you? Or are you willing to pay for representation included in the price of the home? 
after all, we can always negotiate the price to include the cost of representation. And if the seller accepts the offer, then the seller will pay my fee. Okay, next one. Work with the agent directly. Again, you would go ahead and uh, explain and expand on that one. And then, uh, can you represent me for a flat fee? That's a good one too. See, Sharon, commissions are always negotiable. Let me ask you, when you go to work, do you know how much you will be paid and how many hours you will work to earn that pay? Sharon will say yes. That is where the catch is. I don't know how many hours I will work. Would you make earning a flat fee an interesting dilemma? Let's say I agree and I say yes, I will work with you for 1500 and I write the contract and don't do anything else. That is actually practicing a law and I'm not an attorney. Filling out the form or contract is only one aspect of the transaction. Finding the home, negotiating, and then spending hours getting the property to closing is a majority of the time spent. My portion, the work I do in representing you, well, no one knows how many hours it will take. That is why there has always been a percentage involved, not an hourly or flat rate. And then you have a few extras. Now, raise your hand if you find a value and you might actually take a sentence or two from what I just provided or raise your hand if you have a better version that you would like to share with somebody, with the rest of us. Okay, we're going to get you more handouts. Okay, fantastic. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Well, now what you are referring to is advertising, meaning that you would go on an MLS and see the percentage, right? What she's referring to advertising, meaning you have to call the listing agent and find the information. She's referring to the house being advertised on an MLS, not the commission. Okay. Any questions before we move on? Fantastic. Well, with that being said, I would like to go ahead and uh, move into the next category that I was thinking about as I'm consulting a lot of you, also other agents across the country. And I see, well, Yana, you need to start thinking outside the box because a lot of the buyers that were thinking about buying are not buying right now. You know, there's a lot of inventory and I just need to increase my pipeline and double down on my activities so I can still hit my goals. So I came up with three different strategies. Well, actually, I didn't come up with them. There were way smarter people before me that went ahead and implemented it at a high level. But I wanted to bring it possibly again to your attention and provide you with some scripts that you might find a value in. So how to win with preferred vendors? Raise your hand if you have a favorite handyman you've been using, a roofer, plumber, inspector, a cleaning lady, long guy, pool guy few of you? What about the rest? You guys don't work with people? Well, you're in real estate, so you got to start because that's going to be part of your value proposition. So uh, this list, I, you guys have actually the printout. It's from the MREA2 playbook. And uh, that strategy has been provided by Sarita Dua from Oregon. Super smart lady that has built an extremely high uh, business. 20% of her business comes from preferred vendors. And I actually know many people over here in this office has implemented the strategy and had a lot of success with it, okay? So you guys look at the printout, but this is the idea, and I walk, want you to walk uh, through it. Let's say that you are working with Josh, because this is a real scenario, and Josh is your long guy. If you don't have a long guy because your husband enjoys mow or wife enjoys mowing a lawn, that's completely okay. Maybe your neighbor has one. And then uh, you're going to go ahead and you're going to call Josh. And this is the conversation. Hey, Josh, this is Yana Hayes. Hey, I'm one of the top producing agents at the Keta Williams Southwest office. And I am reaching out because I am working on my new list of vendors. And I would love to have the opportunity to work with you. Are you still taking on more clients? What is Josh going to say? What is the best way of sending you a referral? Is it a text, email, or a phone call? What is Josh going to say? Whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, fantastic. Well, I'm about to send you a lot of business. However, Josh, before I do so, I want to set the expectation. Because I'm about to send you a lot of business, and me, myself, have a big goal to finish the year strong. See, Josh? 
My goal is to sell additional 36 houses between now and end of the year. And I'm not going to be able to do that without your help. Who do you know that I should know that is looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate that I could reach out to today? Well, I don't know anybody right now, but if I can think of somebody, I will definitely let you know. Okay, fantastic, Josh. Is it okay if I follow up seven days from now to see who did you think of? Sure. What you do psychologically is you are wiring their brain. You're wiring the brain that whenever they are in a public setting and they think of somebody or they hear a conversation that somebody is thinking about buying or selling real estate, they think of you. And the way to handle it is fantastic, Josh. In the meanwhile, let me send you 50 of my business cards or let me send you a digital business card. I would like to encourage you to go ahead and share it with everyone that you might know that is looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate. See, friends, you can take it to the next level. And that is simply working on the vendor list in the entire neighborhood. So as you are knocking on Tara's door, you're going to knock and you're going to say, hey, Tara, this is Yana Hayes. I live here in the neighborhood and I'm actually working on the neighborhood vendor list. And I am looking for proven vendors that have done a great job for you. Who's your favorite cleaning lady, pool guy, pest control, roofer that you would feel comfortable recommending? And Tara's going to say, or, okay, Eric. And Eric is what? Roofer. Okay, fantastic. Yana's going to turn around and Yana's going to say, Tara, by the way, once I am done with this vendor list for our entire neighborhood, would you be interested in receiving the final list of the best vendors that your neighbors are using and recommending? Tara's going to say, fantastic. What is your email address? What did I just do? I knock on her door. I know her name and I have her contact information. Right now, I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna call Eric. Hey, Eric, this is Yana Hayes with Keter Williams. I got your contact information from Tara. How are you? I'm good, Yana. How are you? Hey, Tara said that you are the best roofer in town. Is that correct? Oh, that's correct. Fantastic. That's exactly why I'm giving you a call. I'm about to send you a lot of business. See, as one of the professionals at Keter Williams Southwest. I am currently updating my vendor list for 2025 and I'm about to send you a lot of new business. What is the best way of sending your referral? See where I'm headed with this? Do you see this as a helpful lead generation strategy? Say yes or yes. What's stopping you from doing so? Give referral who? Well, and you will automatically, go, her question for those of you online, do I have to give them a referral? And you will, because as you are door knocking the neighborhood and you are putting them on the vendor list, then, then you're going to go ahead and send out to 300 people. And those 300 people are going to send it to additional friends and family and on our next door. Don't you think you will automatically send them a business? And then when you, whenever you call seven days, 14 days, or a month later, it's a simple conversation that is, hey, Eric, this is Yana Hayes following up. Have you received any phone calls yet? No, not yet. Well, fantastic. I just shared your contact information with 300 people. I saw it was also posted on Nextdoor. So there's definitely a lot of business coming your way. However, that is not a reason for my call. I am calling you to remind you of myself and see who did you think of that is interested in buying and selling or investing in real estate. Again, it's about rewiring their thinking. Helpful? Yeah, yeah. You guys are looking at me like, this is way too complicated. <laughs> Seems too easy? Okay. Raise your hand if you have been intentional about calling your vendors and getting business from your vendors. One of you. Okay, Fun two of you. All right, let's go over here. How many transactions have you closed from your vendors so far? Have you been asking for business? Okay, have you been sending them business? Okay, you are not in business with the right vendors. Scratch them, go to the next one. All right, Tara, have you been receiving any business from your vendors? Yes. Okay, how much? Give us a few examples. Uh, so Eric, the roofer that I was referring to, he calls me all the time when he's at somebody's house and he said, they're looking to sell their house, so he'll call me. And then I also include a vendor list in my listing presentation. If they sign with me, I have a vendor list and I give that to them and that gives them 
all the business for my listings as well. Mm, so you found this to be a helpful strategy. Fantastic. I would like to challenge every single one of you to be intentional about your vendors. And if they are not sending you business, guess what? You scratch them because they are sending their business somewhere. They have family and friends that are buying, selling, or investing in real estate. All right. How much time do we have? Okay. I have a few more minutes. I want to come to the next one and we are going to not dive deep into that one. The secret to agent referrals. See, in our office, we have an agent. Her name is Sahar Khatib that have taken this agent referral thing to the next level. But it's not just her because many of our current agents have been having a lot of success. In the past, we would have Ms. Wanda Pearson. I know Sharon Parker, uh, Pam Shockey that I've seen name, and many others over here that have been receiving uh, referrals from other agents across the country. This strategy, my friends, is a very easy strategy that you can tap into. And many of our agents go into the assumption of, well, there's already one agent in the office that's receiving all of the referrals. Now, how many homeowners, let's just say homeowners, are across the United States? Do you know? Millions? Okay. Anybody has a better number? How many homeowners in the entire United States? 200 million? Anybody know? Nimesh, do you know? Can somebody Google it? Can somebody Google it? Okay, so we have a 72 million. What else do we have? 221 million. Okay, doesn't matter. It's a lot of millions. You guys get the idea. Even if our agent in our office has received 100 transactions or 100 referrals from across the United States, do you think there is an opportunity? What's stopping you from doing it? What's stopping you from doing it, my friends? It's a simple phone call and a lead generation strategy of calling other agents and simply building your referral network. The one pager that you guys have actually has a step-by-step -step strategy that you guys can go ahead and tap into. Now, I want to be respectful of our time and we also have uh, our line sponsor. But before I wrap this up, I want to actually play a quick video because the video resonated with me. And the video is talking about a purpose. See, every single one of you entered the real estate for a purpose. Yes or yes? Some of you entered real estate to escape your corporate jobs. Some of you were maybe single moms and decided to do something different. Some of you decided to go ahead and provide a better life for your family. Some of you are new to this country and you are just chasing the American dream. Wherever that is for you, you have a unique opportunity to make impact. And real estate is the easiest vehicle for you to be able to do so, wherever your impact is. So Nimesh, can I ask you to turn off the lights? And I would like to play this video. And as you are watching this video, please think about the impact that you would like to make. When we're laying on our deathbed, you're not going to worry about how much money you had, how much power you had, how much prestige. You're going to see that that was all game, that that was all an illusion. The only thing that's going to matter is the impact you had on other people's lives. We are all on a separate journey. But the beautiful thing about our life here on this earth is at my funeral, they ain't going to talk about my success. They're going to talk about who Nick was and how Nick lived and how Nick loved and encouraged. Success is incredibly important. 
but even more important than success, it's having an impact. It's knowing you haven't walked the planet in vain. It's knowing that because you've been here, you've blessed lives, you've developed people, and you have made the world a better place. The effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. Everything you gain in life will rot and fall apart. And all that will be left of you is what was in your heart. Life is a mirror. And life gives us not what we want. Life gives us who we are. When you were born, you cried while the world rejoiced. Live your life in such a way that when you die, the world cries while you rejoice. That was heavy, huh? And yet, in our lives, sometimes we need a perspective. And see, guys, as we are navigating this challenging market, I want you to identify your purpose. As you experience success in real estate, what are you going to do with it? Who are you going to change? Who are you going to pour into? And the reason why I played this video, I had a conversation with an agent and I asked, why are you doing this? And the answer was, because my goal by the end of 2025 is to spend three months in Africa and uh, provide enough money to be able to fund this engineering project that I have done that will actually provide a clean water to kids that don't have access to water because I believe there is a child somewhere that is smart enough to have a cure for cancer. And there was another agent that said, because my family members are still in Gaza or are fighting on the border of Gaza. See guys, we are experiencing in our personal lives different challenges. We all do. Maybe some of you right now are going through a divorce. Maybe your kids just left to college. Wherever that is for you, we all have purpose. And it's up to you to be intentional about your activities to fulfill your purpose. And that's what I would like to do to end our meeting today, to challenge you to find your purpose, that it will make a difference. Before we go for lunch, I would like to invite our lunch sponsor. Please, come on. It does. I know. Like, what a great way. You had no idea I was doing this, by the way. So um, this is not as powerful as finding your purpose. And while I encourage all of you to do that, hi, I'm Sarah Detmore, our PC coach, by the way. Um, we have so many reasons that we talked about today that can that will help you engage with your database immediately. No matter if you've been here for 20 years, been here for five minutes, um, the idea is, is you can take what you've, you've heard today and, and reach out to your database. And I'm going to give you one more way to do it, okay? Um, how many of you know that our office is a sponsor at the uh, Sugarland Space Cowboys baseball team, okay? I don't care if you like baseball or not, but my husband works there and gave me 200 tickets. So I'm going to give everybody here two tickets, and your goal today is to find somebody in your database who, who you can give those two tickets too. You might get tickets for tonight's game or tomorrow's game. It doesn't matter, but do not stop reaching out to your database until you find somebody who can take these tickets from you and you can hand deliver them to them to attend a game. It's a courtesy, nothing you have to do. Don't ask me for more. I don't have any more. Well, Sharon, you're going to get two. Okay. I'll, Hey, I'll do a trunk. I'll give you two tickets. I'll do a trunk. How's that? Win, win. I'll give you two. I'm going to give you two. Um, anyway, text your database, call them, say, hey, I just happened to get two tickets to tonight's game or tomorrow's game. If you don't know what the Space Cowboys are, Google it. They're right down the road. It's minor league baseball. Um, but use this as a way to talk to people. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Let's tweak this a little bit. Do a Facebook post that will say, my real estate team would like to sponsor two tickets to tomorrow's uh, game today or tomorrow.
sponsored by your group, your real estate team, you as an agent, reach out to me, text me uh, for those tickets. Be intentional. This, these are your tickets that she was giving you. Work it, guys. Work it and ask for referrals. All right. Sorry. Now your turn. Come on. Let's give him a big round of applause. You Wonderful. This is your reminder that if you haven't updated your headshot recently, you might want to do that because that's not this guy anymore. Okay. Um, so also, I wanted to uh, just express how happy I am that I got to be here on official Barbara Day. Because I deal with a lot of offices, and by far, Barbara is one of the best. So you guys truly appreciate what you have here, okay? All right. First things first. Okay, so Meridiana. Who's been out to Meridiana? I come here every three months, and I ask you, have you been out to Meridiana? And so few hands go up. It's okay. Please come out and visit us. We're on 288, right there at Highway 6. It's a straight up shot to the um, to the medical center, which is fantastic. Straight shot down to Lake Jackson. You can get to Clear Lake, which is where I live in a relatively quick amount of time. It's really a community that's based around its location. It's on-site schools. It's on-site amenities. It's got two elementary schools, a middle school and a high school on-site now. Our HEB is open, which means everything is opening all the restaurants, all the CVSs, all the gas stations, they're all opening right now. It's crazy the amount of construction and development that is happening right now out there, okay? So please, I encourage you to come out and take a look. I am in the 70-foot section. Most of you should have this at this point. Fun fact, even though I'm in the 70-foot section, I actually have the best value and the best price per square foot of any home builder between the 60s and the 100s in Meridiana. So I encourage you to please stop by and see me. I've got a ton of inventory right now. I've also got some uh, BTSAs and 3% commissions to pay out. Uh, 25,000. I mean, tell me what you need, right? Uh, let's see. See, you messed me up, man. Uh, 25,000 towards closing costs if, you, um, if your buyer uses Shea Mortgage. One of the things that you will find out from me is we are actually selling a decent amount of homes right now. I uh, have a contract writing today because... While we are having set incentives and things like that, what you will always find for me and what I will always ask you is, what is your client need? What do they need to move forward? Because they all have objections right now, right? Everybody's up to their ears with objections. So I will always ask you, tell me what your client needs. Is it the 25000 No. Is it something else? Is it this? Is it that? Is it reduced um, earnest money? Is it reduce the de design deposits. I can't promise I will always get it done. But what I will do is I will ask you that question. I will do everything I can to help your client get into a Shea home. Okay. Um, we do a predominantly a lot of build jobs. Okay. Out in Meridiana. I do have some fantastic home sites right now. Um, water lots, cul-de-sac lots, corner lots, um, beautiful tree line lots with no back neighbors, some wonderful um, lots out there. One of the last things I do want to talk to you about is the, the spot on promotion that we're doing right now is coming to an end at the end of the month. I talked about it the last time we were here. All we want you to do is come out to our inventory homes or our model homes, shoot some content. You're doing it anyway. When you post it, tag us and put hashtag spotted at Shea homes, and we will enter you into a drawing to win 500 bucks. Okay. When you also come out, I will also give you gift cards to go to Cafe Soul, which is our on-site cafe, and I'll buy you lunch for that day. All right. I'm doing everything I can to get you guys out to Meridiana to take a look. Yes, ma'am. Deposits right now for me are 10,000 earnest money. Um, and that's all you owe on an inventory or uh, on an inventory home. On a build job, it's just like most, it's 10,000 earnest money and then 50% deposits on anything that you choose at the design center or home pro. Um, again, if you have some objections with that or if your client has some objections to that, let's work on that. A lot of times I can spread out that 50% um, deposits. Um, there's always a way for us to try to figure out something that will help out with your clients and getting them um, closed on a home. Questions? Okay, I sped through that because I know a lot of you guys have heard my spiel before. I'm just out here to remind you to come out and see me. I really appreciate you guys' time. You guys are a very important office to us. Also, can builders get in on this trunk or treat thing? All right, all right. I'm going to talk to my marketing people. I'll make sure we get a trunk out there. Thank you guys very much. I really appreciate your time. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, enjoy your lunch. Let's mingle and we will see you next week.
DJ Norman will entertain us with some music. 